Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see how you can install Ionic on Ubuntu. So first of all, you have to know that you need to use um, to install Node.js in order to have Ionic working. Uh, the reason is that uh, Ionic allows you to create hybrid app, uh, which are mostly uh, relying on HTML, CSS, and uh, JavaScript, and in fact, Node.js is an environment to run JavaScript uh, programs. So that's why you need to have it, and then as well, you need to have um, NPM, so Node uh, Package Management, which is here in order to bring um, any additional features that you will need for Node.js. So you need to have those two before starting to install Ionic. So uh, let's get started. So here's uh, my uh, Linux machine. It's a virtual machine. It's a brand new one. So uh, probably you should uh, uh, almost have the same uh, the same thing if you just uh, if you just start uh, to play with uh, with Linux. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to launch those uh, first command in order to install Node.js. So let's get uh, started. So the first command to type so uh, is sudo apt update. Okay. Oops. Okay, then you go for apt install Node.js. Okay. Yes. Okay, and next thing is to see uh, which version you're gonna have. Well, in any case, it's gonna be the right version. Okay, then you go for install npm. Okay. Everything looking good so far. Okay, so npm. And da, da, da. Okay, it's going to take a bit of time. And when npm is finished, what you need to go for is uh, the next thing is installation of Cordova. So it will be npm install j ionic Cordova. Okay, so yes, let's let's go for it. So okay, let's wait for it. Do, 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 do. npm install gionic cordova okay almost there okay so npm Install G Ionic Cordova. Still taking a bit of time, sorry for that. Okay, blah blah blah. Uh, no, 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 you don't have the permission to access, so my mistake I should have done with sudo. And so let's prepare the next step. So next step will be about creating your first project. So you need to go for Ionic start my project blank. Okay, so uh, almost good. So I get some warning messages. Well, it doesn't really matter at the moment. Um, so let's uh, let's start. So we said it starts Ionic uh, my project. You can put whatever you want and you just put blank. Just double checking that it's Ionic start. Okay, so it's Ionic and yes, Ionic start. Okay, great. So. Uh, please select the JavaScript framework that you want to use. So in our case, we're going to use Angular. And again, OK, 
okay on this is done i will get within my project and then i can start to launch the server and it will be ionic serve so let's wait As you can see, I have some warning messages telling me that, okay, I should upgrade my uh, version of Node. Well, definitely I can do it later on. That's not an issue for test purposes, I guess. Okay, so it's creating the project. How to change this setting? Okay, would you like to share anonymous usage of the Angular team? No, I don't want. Okay, so now uh, what you should get is a my project. So you see, you have a my project. You have it, and then when you are within your project, you can just launch the server with this. So. What it's going to do is that it's going to create a local server on port uh, 8100. So if you go over here and if you say, hey, localhost, localhost, you should have your first app running. So it's taking a bit of time. That's usual. Let's see. Wait, bundle finished. Development server running. And okay, looks good. Okay, so here is my page. You see how beautiful it is. If you would like it to look like a, an app, you can just click like this. And here you get your lovely app. Okay. Um, I guess you can already start to modify the page um, in order to do so you probably need to get within your project and then uh, to look through the src and through the src you get the index.html page that you can probably start uh, to modify a little bit say hey i love you guys i love you guys okay and maybe i can put it within True uh, storage. Okay, let me save that. We're gonna close it down. And if I look back, oops, if I refresh, you see I love you guys. Um, and do do do. Um, should get my message somewhere else uh, here. So I cannot see it yet, but probably that's because I'm not. Not yet an expert, uh, so I guess that I should have put it uh, probably here at root. Well, if I delete these parts and I change it like this, let's uh, look, look back. Okay, true story, and that's it. Okay, so as you can see, I now have my first app running. Then that's another question after in order to build it as an APK file for Android or to build it as an iOS. Uh, file for uh, your iPhone, but um, that will be uh, another video that I will show. Thanks for watching.